How you doing, everybody? Thanks for watching Segment 4 of Smack Talk. I'm Tony Gaglione. I'm Sean Adams. In Segment 4, we do our Top 5. Uh, this week, we're doing the Top 5 3 0 teams in the NFL. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> so, so sorry. That's all right. It's Go ahead. Great. Uh, Start out with your number 5, Tony. My number 5 is the New Orleans Saints. Sean Payton's coming back. Naperville, Illinois. That's my hometown. <laughs> Naperville, Illinois. He went to Naperville Central, which is the high school I went to. And now he coaches New Orleans Saints, and he's tearing people up yep. again. Uh, look at New Orleans last year without him as head coach. Look at him this year with him as the head coach. I called that. Uh, me and Tony talk about this stuff all the time. Sean Payton is is a real NFL coach. Yeah, he is. And uh, New Orleans Saints, uh, Jimmy Graham is just a beast. Did you know he's the Jimmy best Graham, tight end. Jimmy Graham was like homeless dude when he was young. No, I didn't know that. But Jimmy Graham might end up being the best tight end in the history of football. When it comes down to it, statistically wise, he might end up being the greatest tight end. I say Tony Gonzalez right now. What do you say? Tony Gonzalez got the record, so okay, all right. Jimmy okay. Graham's got a long ways to go. Who's your number five? Because I hate this pick. I know, I know you do. My number five is Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas because City because they're just a powerhouse right hey, now. Hey, Andy Reid. They got a quarterback in Alex Smith who doesn't turn the ball over, and they're re- they're for real. I think they're gonna they're gonna. I think so. The they're most for exciting... real because he doesn't turn the ball over. Well, th- that's what they or needed. They their defense has been they're solid. A good team. They're, they're a good team. Their defense has been solid. They got Jamal Charles. They got Dwayne Bow. You know they've got a good offensive line. You look at them last year, Castle. They would turn the ball over, and now that they have a quarterback who's not going to do that, they can do things. Um, I think the, the exciting matchups for me in that division are going to be the Denver Kansas City games because you have the two teams <clears> that are probably the strongest in the division. Playing and I, I think Kansas City's going to surprise some people. I don't think that they have what it takes to go all the way. Let me tell you That's something. Why they're they five, are they're... not beating the Broncos not once. No, I didn't they say. Not I, even... No, listen, I didn't say that they would. I said it's going to be the exciting matchups. Because they won't it's... even cover the spread. Oh, dude, you're crazy. You're no, crazy. the Broncos defense... are going to demolish people no, this year. I don't know about that. The Broncos' defense is the only problem. They play teams that can score points against them. Even the Oakland Raiders right now have scored 14 points against them. And the Oakland Raiders are, we talked about, going to be your top five draft picks this yeah, year. Yeah. And then if they can score 14, Terrell Pryor just went off the field hurt, by the way. Yep. Uh, not a good thing. Maybe well, Matt Flynn will get a chance. $60 million man will <laughs> get a chance. Hey, you know what I'm rooting for in this game? We're watching the Denver-Oakland game. It's 37-14. This game's over. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. Uh, you know, I would like Peyton Manning to throw a ball to uh, – I want to see Brock end. Osweiler. What are we doing? Yeah, I want to see. I want to see the tight end get some fantasy points. Nah, for me. forget Julius Thomas. Hey, I don't want to lose. Dude, my fantasy what, match where's up. Brock Osweiler right now? You got Peyton Manning in in the fourth quarter with a bad neck, yeah. winning thirty-seven to fourteen. What's your problem right now? What is that not a problem? Am I wrong? If the Broncos score five more points, they will break the NFL re- record for most points in the first three games of the season set by the nineteen sixty-eight Dallas Cowboys, who went on to lose the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> stat. Yeah. Um, I'm my number four team. My screen, number four team stack. is Tony's number one team. Oh yeah, that's number but one. I, I got them number four. Um, they could definitely be a lot higher. Chicago Bears. Uh, they're definitely for real. Uh, they're going to play Detroit next week. They could go four zero and two zero in the division. Means, in my opinion, the division's theirs just because of the record and the, the division. They played Minnesota already. They played Detroit. Um, Detroit's going to be a tough matchup if Reggie Bush comes back. Although I think Chicago's defense has enough. To shut down yeah. Calvin Johnson. Yeah. Well, Jaquie Bell is definitely not the running back Reggie Bush is. Look, I'm going to get my number one out of the way now. How about that? Let's just get it out of the way, and I'll talk about why the Bears are number one. Okay. You're not going to like it. Cincinnati is a great offensive team. Yep. They just beat Green Bay. Yep. Put them at one and two. Yep. Chicago shut down A.J. Green. Shut down Muhammad Sanu. They had yards. But only because they had the ball for half of the game. <clears throat> Chicago won that game on the final drive, as well as against Minnesota. Because we have a premier wide receiver in Brandon Marshall. Yeah, that's true. Not because we got lucky, because Jay Cutler was protected, and we had Brandon Marshall catch the ball. Okay. okay. They held Cincinnati to where they hey, needed to hold them. Here's to win what I'm the gonna game. say: the reason why I got Chicago in my number four, they're, they they'll move up as the season goes. They keep they keep doing what they do. Jay Cutler has been sacked three times this whole year. Three games, three, three. sacks. Two two sacks last night against he the Steelers. He averaged one. six a game last yeah, year. Yeah, well, yeah. Him and Roethlisberger last year were the two most sacked quarterbacks in the league. Roethlisberger continuing that trend. Jay Cutler, not so much. Yeah. You signed one of the best offensive linemen in football. Oh, uh, Denver just coughed up the ball, and Oakland is, oh, look at that. That's an illegal forward pass. Yeah. And you can move that back. Chicago signed uh, Gerard Bushrock from New Orleans Saints, who protected Drew Brees like crazy in the Super Bowl year. Uh, they 
drafted Kyle Long. How yeah. Long, son? Oh, yeah. Raw talent, but that dude's a beast. He is. He's a maniac. And the Steelers patent an X stunt that they do every yeah, two seconds. Shutting down. He was shutting it down. Shutting was it getting down. shut shutting down. down. Was down. getting shut down. Uh, the one thing I'll say about the X stunt now is that with no Larry Foote, it's not as no, it's not, it's not as effective. It's not as effective. However, you have to but give yeah, Chicago's offensive line credit. Runner's knee was down, by the way. If you guys are watching the game, yeah, yeah, it was. But yeah, you got to give him credit. You got to give the young kid credit. Um, I what I think they're doing well is they're they're that offensive line is it's a, it's a help everybody system. They're not help the young guy leave somebody else open. It's help whoever they're doing the they're doing the slant blocks. They're doing. They're pulling him on the runs yeah. to get him out because he's such a big boy. Get him out in front of Forte. Yeah, they pull him every time uh, for Forte or Michael Bush when they're coming around. The, Bush didn't the look end. so great yesterday. No, he didn't. But he is a power runner. He just goes up the middle. And yeah. That's what he does, man. He doesn't go around a couple the, the goal toss or anything like that. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, Forte look, looks great. You got the safeties that are coming in their own. Chris Conti and Major Wright. Major Wright Major had a pick six, pick six last six, yeah. uh, last night. Uh, Chris Conti is just a big Actually, hitter. He's Conti like a John- had a pick. In yeah, the he end did. zone, got, and knee went down, but they, they didn't have any challenges and all yeah, that. Yeah, so. so, I mean, it was a pick. But uh, Chris Conti is like a John Lynch. He just he, he demolishes people. He's not really pass coverage. He, he's going to light you up. Okay, let's move on to your number 14. Sure, Miami. Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins looking real. Let's just uh, rub that into you. Ryan Tannehill's garbage. Yeah, yeah. And they got yeah, Mike not Wallace. so much. Yeah. So, the only reason, really, I think you're a hater because Mike Wallace is on Miami. I know. <laughs> See, there you go. He's yeah, just a big so hater bad. because Mike Wallace so went to Miami. So bad. Ryan Tannehill, he doesn't like just because he's throwing to Mike Wallace now. And his head is in his hands, which is great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, another thing, too, is Miami plays New Orleans next Monday night football. Oh, that's a three, great game. Three and oh, three and eight teams. And this is, this is what I'm going to say this. Okay. When you make the NFL season, the schedule, right? Monday night football, New Orleans, Miami. Nobody's highlighting that. No. Nobody's highlighting that. They you know not. what they're highlighting that week? Pittsburgh, Minnesota, in London. Guess what? Pittsburgh, Minnesota, both own three. Miami, New Orleans, Monday Night Football, three and zero. Obviously, you have New Orleans. I uh, know. I'm taking Miami. Really? I'm, I'm taking Miami. They're, they're, I take Miami to win that game. I think Miami is a real team. They, double they, or nothing. Yeah. Double or nothing. All I right. got New Orleans right. straight okay. up. I'll, I'll take Miami. I'll take my chances. Wow. I'll take Miami. I think Miami's going to shock the world now. They, they, Tannehill is making it. Naperville, Illinois. <laughs> Sean Payton. All right. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're going to they're gonna go about 5-6-0 before they lose. My game. number three team is going to be on the radar all year is yeah, the Seattle Seahawks. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, they look like a team. People. They're just killing people. Yeah. They play Houston this week, which is going to be a good test for them. They're at home, I believe. So it's going to be tough for Houston. Matt mm-hmm. Schaub going to learn how the 12th man works, but they got Marshawn Lynch. I think that Houston defense is about to learn yeah. what a real runner is like. The only reason at the last second, besides just fun of arguing, that I moved Seattle from my number one to my number two is that they played Carolina on the first week, and Carolina held them to 12 points. Yeah, yep, yeah. and then Carolina shut down the Giants. That Carolina defense, I said it They're one and one. two. Yeah, but that Carolina defense is really good. Obviously, the offense showed they're pretty good too. Yeah, well, they, you know, Steve Smith. And you know who's you know who's doing it for Carolina? Mm. Ted Ginn Jr. resurrecting mm. his career. Him and Brandon LaFell. They look- Brandon LaFell is the guy. He caught two touchdowns. Ted, Ted Ginn Jr. caught a touchdown for like forty or fifty yards streaker, uh, that yeah. game. Um, the defense is holding up. Steve Smith is just pulling triple coverage to get these wide receivers open. And Cam Newton. I mean, you gotta you gotta respect the yeah. run with him. Yeah, I think Seattle's Even definitely a potent team. It's, Seattle's a potent team. Uh, my number two team is Tony's number five is New Orleans. I just think that with Sean Payton and Drew Brees together, they are uh, they they that division's not going to be as strong. But in the NFC, when they get to the playoffs, they're going to score thirty points. Yeah, you know, and 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 that's the thing. He's good at. Sean Payton's good at saying, okay, this defense is good doing this. We're going to do this. They got Darren Sproles, Colston, Jimmy Graham. You know, they're, they're going to do some things. Uh, Mark Ingram, reason. however, Mark Ingram, however, he's out. wants a trade. He wants a trade. Oh, he wants a trade? He just he got hurt. Tra- yeah, he wants a trade. Well, he ain't, he ain't getting a trade now. The only reason that they are lower on my list at number five is because they don't look like the same offense that we used to see with Marcus Colston catching 60-yard bombs from Drew Brees. Mm-hmm. Um, it just doesn't look the same to me. Uh, Sean Payton might be back. That's fine. Last year they had the worst statistical defense in the history of football. Okay. Okay, you can't put a team in a top three. That they don't have that up. same statistical defense this year. Okay, they're pretty close. Okay. They're letting up points. They let up seven to Arizona, by the way. Arizona. Arizona. Just like they, you said. They shut down uh, Atlanta 
I think you know. I think New Orleans. They gonna shut down a, a, a very hey, banged hey, up I'll tell you what, team. I tell you what. I'm taking Miami next week, so I'll bring New Orleans out of the top five. They lose. Okay. <laughs> How about that? Um, Darren McFadden just scored a touchdown, yeah. and he covered the 17 point spread. I wonder. If that was interesting. Uh, my number one team is Tony's number three team. Yeah, we already talked about my number one and two, so we're just going to leave them out. Denver Chicago Broncos. Chance. Yeah. Denver Broncos. We're watching them now. You got them watching right now. They got Peyton Manning. They got Eric Decker, Wes Walker, and the defense without Vaughn Miller is not as good as it could have been. Yeah. They just lost their left tackle, Ryan Clady, for the season, and they're doing just fine without it. I want to say this right now. I know people are going to hate on me for this, for having Denver at number three. Leave your comment. I want to hear what you have to say. Leave it underneath. Denver's number one in Sean's eyes. They're a very good team. They're a very good team. They got Peyton Manning. They just gave up 21 to Oakland, though. Hey, I Oakland's got Terrell Pryor. They're a total right different now. team. You know, hey, I think that Terrell Pryor makes Oakland a better team than having Carson Palmer. I talked about this. He's not mobile. Well, Matt the Flynn th- just led that drive. Well, that was on the goal line, bro. They, no, they, they got it from the 40. For, no, they didn't. They, yeah. they, run the, they ran the ball all the way to the goal line. He didn't pass it once? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think whatever. so. Whatever. <laughs> but anyways, Denver's my number Poor one team, three number team. We'll keep you guys updated on our power rankings throughout the NFL season. Uh, we got Miami, New Orleans next Monday night. Yeah, we'll be watching yeah. that game. I got Miami, double or nothing for 10 bucks. Yeah. If, if, I, if I win, I got nothing. But if I lose, I'm down $10 to Tony. I hope that doesn't happen. And I hope Ryan Tannehill either – You don't have things. a good history of bets with me. And, uh, d- hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> You're going to lose 50 bucks to Monaco. That's fine. You okay. lost 200 yeah, to that the we, LA Kings. They, they, the viewers don't need to know that. <laughs> yeah, okay. they, they that, was that was two years <laughs> ago. That was two years ago. Anyways, <laughs> I'm Sean Adams. I'm Tony Gagliano. Thanks for watching Smack Talk.